Hello everybody. Um, okay, what we did uh, on the previous video was uh, outlining the drawing uh, and also lowering the ground. Today uh, we will start uh, to shape the flower in order to get uh, the leaves and uh, also the center of the flower, making the center uh, round, the, the leaf uh, of the flower much more uh, similar to uh, a leaf in uh, the real and also we will uh, try to uh, carve the shape uh, until we reach uh, the, the, the shape that we like and after we will start uh, to detailing the flower and after the finish Okay, so let's go and start to uh, shape the flower. Okay guys, um, this is the piece uh, uh, that we uh, made uh, on a previous video and uh, I just uh, clean it up uh, a little bit more. Okay, so this is how your piece uh, should uh, look like uh, before start uh, defining uh, the shape of the flower okay so every side uh, has been cleaned okay as you can see and uh, the um, the design the drawing is uh, clear okay so let's place it in the vise and uh, start uh, Look into the drawing and uh, defining where we need to start at first. Okay. So, for example, we should lower all the leaves that are between uh, the bigger leaves. Okay, so all the things that uh, I mark with the pencil must be lowered okay so how to do this uh, we uh, need to choose a, a gouge with the cure that match uh, much uh, should match much more the uh, outline curve okay so fit best the outline curve and we start make a cut okay so uh, in this way okay we define the wood that will be removed An advice that I can give you is uh, if you don't have uh, the, um, the gouge that perfectly fit uh, the outline uh, curve, uh, the outer curve, so uh, you can use uh, a knife. Okay, so you can just uh, do something like this. Okay, and. Uh, you can look at how I hold the knife, okay, just to prevent the blade slip off. Okay. So in this case, Okay, so with the same gauge that we used before, we just have to lower those leaves.
look at how I always cut on the side to avoid wood from uh, from splitting off okay because we always need to have clean cuts otherwise your carving could be damaged okay as you can see the drawing now has a let me show you better, okay, a leaf here that is uh, much more lower than the bigger leaf, okay. We should do this uh, uh, activity for all the leaves we marked to be lowered, okay. So let's start. Okay, so as you can see now, all the little leaves are lowered. Okay, so uh, maybe you have seen me using knife. Uh, this one is called a fish tail gouge because it remembers the tail of a, of a fish for its shapes. Okay, and also. Uh, a skewed chisel. This one uh, is particularly useful when uh, you have a small uh, resist to uh, clean. Okay, for example, in this case, uh, look uh, how let me show the, how it perfectly fit this uh, uh, this point. Okay, so this is uh, quite important to use. Uh, the right gouge with the right shape uh, to carve your piece. If you don't have uh, the knife, uh, will be always your best friend. So now, what we can, uh, what me, what uh, we must have take a look uh, is this leaf uh, is over this one, okay? Because uh, as the drawing suggest uh, this is the cure of this leaf uh, but this leaf uh, is going under okay so this one should be lowered here and uh, this one should be lowered here and uh, let me see This one, this one should be lowered here, okay, and this one will go lower also, okay, because the leaves go down on that side, but is going over the other leaf on that side, so this one will be lower than this one okay also lower this and also lower this one okay so what does it mean that we we take a gouge that we already see in uh, the previous video the v-shaped gouge and we will start uh, to cut uh, the area we marked for remove. Okay? Okay, so we, we do something like this. Okay. And then we follow the line. Okay. Maybe uh, for uh, practice 
you can use uh, a piece of scrap wood just to uh, learn how the tool should be handled for this purpose okay so this one Okay, look what is happening now while cutting this the tool slip off and cut the leaf under okay this uh, could be a damage but uh, we are uh, quite lucky because uh, uh, we are not uh, defining details so we can uh, fix uh, this uh, this uh, sign of the gouge okay so now that uh, we know what is uh, going uh, over and what is going uh, under, we also have to um, separate uh, the center of the flower from the leaves, okay? Because uh, this center will go down, okay? and uh, uh, the, um, the leaves uh, will go under this area okay so what we should uh, do is uh, something like that okay just so now another thing that uh, we must take in account is that this is the center of the leaf and uh, the leaf uh, we do if uh, we look at uh, its profile uh, shape like uh, this one okay so this point here is uh, this point here okay? the left side is uh, this one the right side is this one this uh, part of the leaf uh, will go under the center of the flower that will be drawn here in uh, this kind of section okay so this uh, part here will be this part uh, here round it. So let's start uh, for this purpose. Uh, I will take uh, another uh, gouge, always uh, fish tail type, but uh, much uh, cute. Okay, so it will allow remove more material, and we should. Uh, try to lower before remove the edge because this prevent wood from splitting ok, okay so. always try to follow the shape ok so if you know that uh, the leaf is going down so with your hand try to carve and do this kind of movement okay you start lower and then rise the handle this one should go under Or you can also use a mallet. Okay, take this. You have to hit the handle with high number of okay. 
okay in order to do the cure okay This is going under the other leaf and this one is going under the bottom. We should repeat this uh, activity for all the leaves here. Okay, let's start. Also, if you are, uh, even if we are defining a rough shape, it's always useful to redraw some missing lines okay just to see if uh, the carving is uh, coming out uh, as expected okay and maybe to identify some uh, potential uh, issues on uh, uh, what is uh, coming out okay so this one will be okay what Okay, let's continue. <coughs> when you cut um, here on the top where the wood has a where the wood has no support on that side always be careful when cutting because otherwise um, wood could split okay so always remove a little bit of wood at a time Once you have the shape, uh, you can also cut uh, and uh, define better the shape uh, without using the mallet, uh, just removing a little bit of wood at a time and uh, shape uh, as you prefer the uh, wood you are working on. Okay, so for example, here I'm doing something like this. Just follow the form. Okay guys, so now that uh, we have uh, roughly shaped uh, the biggest leaves, we need to shape also the smallest one. Okay, so we should start uh, and round also these little leaves. Okay, in this way you just uh, need, uh, I'm using the the skew chisel here because uh, 
I need to access uh, this uh, uh, little place uh, here so this one perfectly fit uh, the space I need okay so we try to shape uh, and round a little bit uh, with the slicing scat okay always try to make a stop cut before cutting the and removing the wood okay. the cut I made here is called stop cut okay because it stop the cut and the wood remove it So after we will finish with the small leaves, maybe we should uh, review the eight uh, of the bigger leaves. Okay, but uh, this is just uh, what we have to do in order to achieve uh, a, a good shape before start detailing the the flower. Okay, so let's. Uh, continue in shaping the smallest leaf Now that we also finished shape the small leaves, we start again, and this is the final uh, step in shaping uh, the leaves, uh, the bigger leaves. We start again to refine how uh, the shape of the bigger leaves uh, is. Okay, so we will lower a little bit the bigger leaves biggest leaves and uh, we um, just uh, define uh, the final depth of our flower Okay guys, so now that you are uh, quite satisfied about the shape of uh, our leaves the next thing that we have to do is um, uh, lowering the um, center of the leaf, center of the flower and uh, then uh, uh, round the, uh, the center and uh, make uh, these uh, little leaves uh, all around okay so the first things we have to do is uh, take a gouge with a cure that fit most possible the, the circle of the flower okay. and we mark it 
okay in this way let me show you okay so how do you see that uh, I made a cut all around okay now we will start lowering this part okay until we reach uh, I think maybe uh, two millimeter from the leaf will be enough okay so let's Okay, so now uh, let me show you. We have uh, the base here that uh, is lowered about two millimeters from the leaves. Okay, and the center of the flower, this one, okay, that uh, must be rounded. Okay, so. Uh, looking at the section of the flower, let me show you. Okay. So, at the moment, uh, we have the flower here, okay, with the base all around. Here, we will uh, do some uh, little leaves, but first. Uh, detailing this part we have to round uh, this one okay so if we look it uh, uh, at uh, his profile we see just uh, things like this okay so we need to uh, round this uh, in order to make it uh, like uh, the center of the flower okay in order to do this uh, we have to start with uh, a round gouge that uh, is half the diameter of this uh, uh, half uh, sorry half the circumference of this uh, circle and uh, we start here with the blade par uh, perpendicular to the sent to the cylinder and raising the handle while progressing okay I raise it while I going forward we, we start to cut this part while rounding okay and we will have the round of the flower okay this part is cut away and also on the other side okay and obviously we are uh, uh, making a semi sphere so we have to do this operation in this way in this way and also in other four ways okay the last thing we need to put attention is uh, if the grain is going in this way when performing those cuts here we must pay attention so we don't go uh, we don't go exactly in this direction but uh, we will go into a oblique direction okay just to prevent uh, wood splitting because uh, we are cutting across the grain okay so let's start maybe an advice uh, is uh, before start uh, is uh, uh, before uh, doing this kind of job on your project uh, uh, first practice uh, uh, doing a lot of uh, this uh, uh, semisphere on a piece of scrap, scrap wood. Okay. that 
Magenta, we have uh, defined uh, the shape of our flower. Now that uh, we have uh, rounded the, the, the center of the flower, okay, the next step uh, would be detailing uh, the flower. So we will uh, redraw uh, the little leaves uh, all around the flower center. We will uh, draw and then uh, uh, mark uh, the center of the leaves and so on until we finish the flower. Okay? So we will see this on the next video. So guys, uh, hope uh, that uh, you liked what uh, we have seen today and um, thank you for watching and also thank you for subscribing. Cheers, bye!